ghost town at midnight. We need, we need to shovel. Wind 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 here. <gasps> Michael, he's gonna love this. He loves Puerto Rock Wall. This is our last stop, our last chance. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna keep the car running just in case we need it. Oh, you're right. Look at the okay. top of it. Oh, it's coming towards us. <laughs> it seriously is defending its home Dang. right now. Look at that. Do you think it's silver? You guys, I look at this. Surviving. Or diamonds? Whoa. Thing finds you well. I couldn't make it. Had to leave it in our spot. Please forgive me. Clarence? Clarence? Whoa. Let me take you on a road, one family on a throne. Cause we got, we got it. We got treasures and more than shit we got. Okay, Michael, the weirdest thing just happened. Out in the van, you know how we went metal detecting at midnight and we got that bottle? Yeah. It's gone. Like, really? It was out in the van. I left it out there in the driver's side, like in the cup. It's completely gone. Did you ask Ryan or Shinoe if they brought it in? No, there? everybody went straight in. I left it out there. I know that I left it out there and it's gone. I had a creepy feeling while we were there and I think that town really is haunted in some places. Yeah. It's just empty. Like there's not people there. Especially I just think it's weird me. and we were wanting to go back there today with the kids and I was gonna bring the bottle just like so we could maybe ask people about it if they know somebody a Clarence or you know, know What was the other name? What is we'll have to look at the video footage because I don't even remember was the note still in the bottle Actually, no, it wasn't it was right by the side of it I did not put it back in because it ripped is the note still out there the note wasn't out there either The note was gone the ring was gone and the bottle was gone this is a ghost town book and I wonder if we can look up the same ghost town. I and know tried. that it's in here. It's got to be in here. Ghost town of the west. We're in the west. I, I, yes, just yesterday. I looked Let's okay. look up the town Eureka and see if we can find out more yeah, about the town. Okay. This is so crazy. We're headed back to the ghost town and our van is starting to break down. No joke. Look, you can even see the wrench over here. Can you see it? Yeah, yeah, there's a wrench right there and it just popped up and the van is acting really weird. <gasps> it just beeped. I don't know if we're gonna even make it to the ghost town. We've had something like this happen before that was really crazy. Um, are talking about Montezuma? In Monte when we Maybe. were looking for Montezuma's treasure, Maybe. Corbin started having an asthma attack and we had to go to the hospital as we were looking for that treasure. And like today we lost the bottle we're headed back to the ghost town. We have the metal detector still, but the bottle, I had it right in this cup holder right here. I looked oh. all over the van, underneath all the seats, and don't show them because it's really dirty. I know, right? <laughs> but it's not here. It's yeah. not here at all. And now the van's breaking down. I'm as, like... As we're going back to that same ghost town. Do you think maybe somebody stole the bottle and vandalized the van? Honestly, I think it might be some type of a curse. We've, we've encountered this before with old treasures in ghost towns, so... Because Kanab's a ghost town too, so it could That's be true. another ghost town curse. I don't know, but whatever's happening, it's really weird. So far, we're making it. The van hasn't broken down yet. It's been pretty unstable, but we just made it. We're just pulling into Eureka right now. There's new buildings here. Tintic School District. Tintic is the name of the Ute Indian that was the chief, the chief of this like Valley. area. And he hated that the settlers were coming here. Look, it even says Tintic Lumber Company on there. This, this is called the Tintic Mining District. So the Indian chief was so upset when all the white men came to mine all the treasures from the mountains, he would chase them out. He would they, raid their camps. He would raid their camps and chase them out. And every time they would leave, they would come back with twice as many people. He got very, very frustrated. And eventually, I think he just gave up because everybody kept coming and he didn't believe they should mine the ore in the land. Interesting, but it's it's all over the place. Tintic this and Tintic that. But it's all named after the Indian Tintic. This 
town looks a lot different during the day. But look, here's still some of these houses. That's the creepy house. That's that we the didn't creepy want to house go. that we didn't want to go to. There's lots of, lots and lots. Oh, look at that house all boarded up. This is the historic meeting house. And there's Porter Uncle's cabin we were looking at. Yeah. This sure looks a lot more nice during the day. <laughs> That was the creepy open sign. Well, it's not nearly as scary during the day. Yeah. Oh, but look at all this. This main street is still all boarded up. Well, you know, it's boarded up at night. It's still boarded up. <laughs> yeah. But and over there is where I scared Ryan real bad. And Chinoy real bad. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ryan, we have you on camera freaking out, too. I, I would not actually. <laughs> There's just a sign that says danger and that's all. That's all it says. Just There's danger. There. Here's the city hall. Here's the mining museum. Old 1896 jail. Oh yeah! Yeah! Okay. We should go to the mining museum. You know what? I think we should get out and I think we should get ice cream, get some food, and then I think we should walk up and down this main street and explore. Okay. Because we yeah. didn't do this at night because it was way too was scary way at too night. Creepy. Okay. Hey, Dad. What is it? A face in the clouds? It's a beautiful day outside. You guys like that ice cream? Yeah. Good. Oh, you gotta rub your foot, huh? Yep. Calling the mayor. The mayor, huh? Yeah. Oh, okay. The been... mayor will be here soon. The mayor of of, of the town Eureka? will be here wow. to talk to us very soon. So <laughs> you were just talking in there to to the guys, yeah. and they contacted the mayor. Yeah, they're like, let me get the mayor on the phone right now. Wow. The Mayor's coming just to talk to you. <laughs> cool. Well then, that's great. You know, it's so funny because saying the mayor, it's like the mayor. It's a crazy thing. Well, that's but true. It's really, it's a small town. Okay, so we got some ice cream. All the kids are all fueled up, and we're loaded up in the van. We we're just getting ready to just start driving around town again. But it looks like we've got some connections here. The mayor's coming. The mayor is coming to talk to us. <laughs> okay. We are privileged people. <laughs> I was say, I'm all filthy rotten because uh, I've okay. just been working in the basement. <laughs> um, yeah, this is a ghost town. The ghosts are friendly, you know. I've That's never it. heard of them hurting anybody. Have you seen any? I have never seen anything. I had some people six, eight months ago. There was a guy that I work with when he said, I have a niece who's really interested in ghosts. Could you meet us up here and we'll just walk the Main Street and see what's going on? And so we did, we met up here and had a hamburger and went, and she had some of her friends with her. Big, tough guys. Uh-huh. Terrified. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime there was a mention of a ghost or anything supernatural, they'd hide behind the little girls. <laughs> <laughs> they, they were, I, I mean, these are big jocks. Yeah. yeah. But they were terrified. <laughs> I mean, absolutely terrified. Wow. Okay, so we are going into the city hall right now, and the mayor's unlocking the door. This building used to museum. be. This was built as the city hall, uh -huh. and okay. it had everything. It had the fire truck here. This was the sheriff's office. Right here. The courthouse was upstairs. The city recorder and the city treasurer had their offices upstairs. Yeah. So everything with Eureka City in 1899 was here. The guy that was with this team, there's a man and a woman, was walking in here with our full of stuff. When he walked in, the lady was back in this room and she says, hey, when Nick comes downstairs, have him come and talk to me, I need to ask him something. And I was walking in with him and he says, oh. He looked at me Nobody's and he said, upstairs. What? He says, when Nick comes downstairs, tell him I need to talk to him. Nick isn't upstairs. Yeah, he is. I just heard him walk across the floor. And by that time, I'd walked back there and I walked in and she says, weren't you just upstairs? And I said, no. She said, well, somebody walked across the floor. Who's up there? Oh. I said, that's why you're here. You're the investigator. You tell me who is upstairs. Who is? Well, introduce yourself. Get us a name and 
Wow. And dress whenever you can. You know, <laughs> telephone number. <laughs> that was that was in this building. Wow. So I was reading a history book on Eureka that had like it was talking about a boarding house that this Asian guy had, and then this Russian lady. I, I wish I knew the names of these people, but claimed he did something bad to her, ran him out of town, and then. She took his boarding house, and then there was all these fights on where the border was. Like, I don't know if you know anything about that. Property line. Yeah, property line. Yeah. Do you know uh, anything it about that? Common, it wasn't uncommon to have those kind of. She was like a, going on. one of the interesting I, characters, I think. I want you to notice this building was built in 1899. Now listen, everybody, be quiet. Go, you go ahead and walk. Do you hear the squeak on those stairs? Not that bad. This squeaks right here because it was replaced. Somebody did some work on that one. Yeah. That's the only one that squeaked. Oh, all the rest. This yeah. was built in 1899. You tell me, you find a house that was built in a building that was built, unless it's not concrete, it was built in the last year. Oh my gosh. Look at how worn they are. You can tell how so there, was, there was a ghost upstairs? I don't know. I didn't see it. We actually grew up down in Mount Pleasant. Do you know okay. where that's at? I'm more proud of Mount Pleasant. And, uh, and there are many, many, many yeah. times. And the house that we grew up in was built in 1897. And it was yeah. about the, it looks this is like pretty much the same. About the same time. Yeah. <laughs> Has all the same moldings and trim and doors, ways. And... I can't believe so many ghosts down here. Yeah. And this is kind of and it still is. Together. Thrown together because they had to move museum things out of downstairs oh. up here just to do it. <gasps> Whoa! Wow. This is a three-dimensional map of the standard line. Really? Cool. <gasps> Every day the engineers and surveyors would go down underground and draw or measure how far they advanced. So each of these now this is a town, this is surface. Oh, okay. And so, and then it drops down and this is, well this was up on a hill, so this is going down underground now. Wow. But you can see, there's a level here, that's 800 feet underground, this is 600 feet underground, 700, 800, and I think that one's 1,450 that's feet wow. underground, the bottom of this. And I heard that the mines started filling with water? Is well, that We've one? had a water problem all along. Okay. So, yeah, we always had to pump water out of them. The one on mine that they're trying to get open again now has water coming out of it that's 160 degrees. Oh, so wow. We're trying to work out where we can do. Where you can Let's put it. use <laughs> that water, that heat out of that water, yeah. as an asset, not a liability. Yeah. Let's sell it, use it to heat, home, or heat homes or yeah. big commercial areas, is what yeah. we're looking at. Smart. So, this is all stuff. From the museum that you've just yeah, put in here for storage for now? Yeah, it's just being stored temporarily. <gasps> but that was the judge's table there, the book behind him. Oh, the this? That was the judge's table. Yep. I, it even has a gavel on it. <gasps> Look at that. Wow. Look at all those books. You did it pretty doggone good. <laughs> good job. <laughs> Whoa, look at that giant bucket. What's that? There's creepy dolls over here. See that? There's creepy dolls. This was one of the early, early, early Masonic watches here. Oh, this one? See, look. Across the street. Oh. It wasn't here. Yeah. But they wow. were <gasps> Yeah, it's just like the bottle we found, huh? Those, wow. those yeah, they look exactly like real silver Almost solid lead. Ah, really? Oh, wow. I don't want to hold it. <laughs> Holy <laughs> cow, you really should feel this. It's so heavy. <laughs> oh, wow. so heavy. Be careful. Don't drop it on your toe. Ooh, <laughs> what did you say it probably was? I don't uh, want to hold it. What did you say, 65 pounds, 70? It's, it's pretty heavy. heavy. That would be heavier than oh, 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 I want to try, I want to try. That's a really heavy. <laughs> I don't want to. It is. <laughs> okay. I don't want So it has lead in it and silver and stuff? This is almost pure lead. With 
This one, probably just looking at it, Whee! I would say it's probably got two or three hundred ounces of silver good per job, ton. Good job. So this probably has taking it from me. Ten ounces of silver. That's so box. heavy. Each board is thinner in the middle where everybody's walked yeah. than That's it right is at the end. See, the layer. see yeah. they all started out with this bevel. Yeah. And that high. Yeah. And now the bevel's gone. And it's just worn and down. And it's over there. But this is all worn. So can you imagine the wow. hundreds and hundreds of people that have walked on this to make that wear down that far? Yeah. And it was still built so well. That it's not that all creaky and they don't apart. Creak. Yeah. as to what it is, how it is, who it is. Now then I heard something. Yeah, I heard something again. I did. That was, that was up in that room. Are there what? two buildings connected here? No. So there's no way it could be like the near, near. No. No. What's, what, what's in that room? Just over this one. Just an, an old, like a kitchen and oh. in the bedroom. We just, oh. some of the museum pieces in. Oh, okay, okay. That's cool. Go up. That was really cool hearing those sounds. I don't know if you captured them on camera. They were really I don't know faint. If I, like, if anything, it just sounded like a worker in town somewhere. But the thing is, it was in there. So yeah, it sounded like it was coming up from the upstairs room. It yeah, just sounded that like had all the museum stuff in it. Yeah, not the one room that we toured, but the little room next to it, oh. just above the staircase. Oh yeah. And it just sounded like things moving around, like. Not even necessarily footsteps, but just like kitchen items shuffling or. Because guess what he said? What? He said that was filled with kitchen I stuff. Definitely heard it. Really? And all the kids heard it, and Ryan heard it. You didn't hear it? I well, I think I heard something, but it was on the first time. I didn't hear the second time. I didn't hear it as well the second time. I was also like paying really close attention to all the kids and trying to get their reactions on the camera, so I was like, paying. But I definitely attention. heard it the first wow. time, and, and all the kids did too. Did you hear? Krista yeah. heard it. So there's no doubt. Wow. There was something up. I was, the weirdest thing was, Ryan's like, everyone be quiet. Let's hear. Let's, let's see if we can hear something. I was something. like, ha, ha, ha. And I was like, yeah, right. Like all of a sudden, magically, something's gonna happen. Yeah. But it did. That's that so weird. That was the weirdest part. It did make. And we were. You saw. He unlocked the building for us. There was no one else in it, and we were all right there. Wait, where? Where is That's so going? weird. We were sitting outside, and I'm pretty sure it's the first window on the top that's where everybody heard the sound come from. Right? I saw yeah. the ghost! Right in that window. Charlie keeps saying he's seeing the right ghost. Right there. I really did. I saw an arm pass it, so that... James says he thinks he saw an arm pass that window. Alright y'all, so we just got done touring the town with the mayor and he showed us some really, really cool stuff. But now we're at the stuff city park. That we would have not known about or even had access to without him. That That's was really cool. That's for sure. Cool. So he definitely hooked us up. It was awesome seeing some of the stories and hearing about that cool stuff. We'll definitely be back. I want to come back and explore. Yeah, so we're at the city park right now. We're going to do some metal detecting and see if we can find some treasure. Not seeing anything yet. You got something here. There's something here. I'm going to take fish. Oh, it's deep. Let's see. We'll have to look for something more shallow. That one's high. Is there something there? That one's high, yeah. Oh, what? Okay. A quarter! Yeah, we found a quarter! <laughs> There's a quarter. Cool! We found a quarter. All right, James, what did you guys find? I found this chain and this on the surface. What is that? I found a couple of cool little things. Chest uh, leather or, oh yeah, no, it's metal. Yeah. It's very, very And this very, very heavy chain. And I found the nail. Ooh. I found this 
So we've been here at this playground for a while now looking for treasures, not finding anything valuable. Finding some metal though, our metal detector definitely works. Um, oh, you found a little screw? Cool. So we never did find that bottle in the van. Hey Becca, I was thinking what if we went back to the same place where we found that bottle and see metal detect again, see if there's anything else in that area. Well, we were really freaked out, and honestly, we cut it short, because we were like, We just left, because there were spiders guarding the oh, bottle. Look, yeah. Look. We should go back now, because it's the daytime, and see if, see if we can find something else. You know what? Let's do it. Okay. That sounds fun. Okay, yeah. let's go. This place is so different during the day. Yes, this is the same place. So we're back to the same place where we originally found that glass bottle with the note inside and the ring around the neck. We're just trying to see if maybe there's something else here that we missed that first night that we were here. It's starting to get late too, so we might be wrapping up today's adventures here in this ghost town. What if we went metal detected in the same spot as last time? Where we found the bottle? I know, but what if there was more stuff underneath we didn't see? Well, we, have, we can find, we have sticks right here, we can get the spiders out later. Ah, okay. Becca, yeah, let's go look in that same spot. I think it was right around the edge of that pipe, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Man, I wish we had that bottle still. Me too. So like, oh, I see something. <gasps> Whoa, spiders! No, no. It's the same thing. There's a ring around it, and there's a bottle and a note inside. We took that bottle. That, that is the exact bottle. From that was in the spot. van. How did it get back in that same spot that we found it in? This is the exact same spot. We'll lift it up. We found it right there. Oh my goodness. That's, That's really creepy. It's not it might not be the same bottle. Did you read the stuff on the inside? It's got the it's got a note, it's got the ring. It's on the bottom. Oh, that's an ant. It has the ring. The yeah. ring is on it. I feel really creepy. This is a really creepy feeling. Do you think that maybe like some spirit? Because this note was meant for us. Do you think? Maybe, maybe I it wonder if, okay. got set okay. back somehow. Should we leave it here or should we take it back home? Let's take it back home. What is we this? took it before and it, it disappeared. What if this okay, is cursed? So let's go get in the van. Let's go get in the van, yeah. <gasps> Did you, you guys hear that? I heard that. What? We need to leave it here. We're not I supposed to take it. I seriously just heard somebody say no. Me too. Uh -oh. Put it back, James. Yeah, put it back. Put the bottle back. Oh my goodness, let's go. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's this go. bottle is not for us. Right now. We need to leave it here. Go to the van. Go to the van. Okay, there's something creepy going on here. I don't want anything to do with it. That is so haunted. Okay. That is so Let's haunted. just get the family and go home. I don't think we were supposed to touch that. When we 